So what does it mean to be a Muslim, right? Mm -hmm. So essentially, the first thing is in your heart, you should be certain based on what you know. Your heart should be comfortable at knowing and testifying that there's only one God worthy of worship, right? Worthy of our utmost love, fear, hope, trust, dependence, submission. Only one God. And he is completely perfect with his names and attributes, his abilities, his qualities. And no one is like him. He doesn't have any sons or daughters that share anything of his dominion they don't share any attribute of his is completely and uniquely com perfect mm -hmm. right and that he sent down various prophets over time uh, and we believe on all the prophets that we know by names from Quran and and also the ones that we don't know about right and that the final messenger of them is Muhammad right and he was given the book Quran this is what we follow Quran is the speech of God Right? And then the traditions of the Prophet Muhammad, his sayings and his actions explain how to implement Quran. And that this life is temporary. Right? Anything that happens is by the will of God. He controls everything, although he has given us free will. And once we die, we go through the life of grave. And then there's a day of resurrection in which everybody would be resurrected from all the times. right? And then we would eventually go in paradise or hellfire. And that time, death will be destruct, destructed. There will be a new life. And some people would go directly into paradise. Some people would go into hellfire, then come into paradise. And some people, may Allah protect us and not make us from them, will live forever in paradise. So, so you, your belief in essentially that thing is the first pillar of Islam. And you verbalize that belief by saying the statement of faith. Part of that is actually what you heard in Allah Akbar. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that, that I testify there's no God worthy of worship except Allah, and that Muhammad is the messenger of God and his slave. And I testify that, you know, mm -hmm. Jesus is the messenger of God and his slave, for example, right? Mm -hmm. So that's your testimony, verbalization of your faith. Uh, then the next thing, when this leads to is like, okay, so now you know that God is mm -hmm. God, so what does God want you to do? Right. So the most important thing that God wants you to do is five prayers, right? Mm -hmm. So five daily prayers mm -hmm. that happen in specific intervals, right? that help you connect with God. Obviously, you can pray a lot more than that. Right. But those are the minimum that helps you connect, pause from your world, and really depend, realize that, hey, at the end of the day, God controls everything. Mm -hmm. I have to pause, take time, you know, have a conversation with God, ask Him, thank Him, praise Him, all that sort of stuff. And once a year, fasting in the whole month of Ramadan, Ramadan yeah. if you're able to do. And then uh, that's the third pillar. The fourth pillar is basically uh, the charity. Charity. So if you have excess wealth, so not including your car and your home and all that sort of stuff, from your excess wealth that stays with you for a year, you give 2.5% to me, no, to charity, right? That's so me, different. That's not different. Yeah. Okay, in Christian uh, in Protestant circles, it's tithe, which is 10%. Right. So this is only two every week. Oh, you week. Oh, it's and it's before tax. Okay. So like you know, let's say you make thousand dollars a week before mm -hmm. tax. Well, when on Sunday, you're dropping a hundred. Uh, a hundred dollars in the envelope right uh because that god asked for your tithe right that's for 10 percent mm -hmm. you're saying at the end of a physical year the access that i have outside of my <laughs> basic needs. basic needs of life yeah. is 2.5 percent yes uh wow and it's not like and obviously, the more you not, do it, not, not preached about every Sunday at the end, at the end of a, at the end of a service, right? Right. Yeah. I mean, obviously, we they they would ask you for donation. All of the course, time. Yeah, yeah. But that, you give that out of your yeah, free that, will, yeah. right? And that's but, your investment, as right? Well, right. I, I mean, obviously, you uh, give God money. I mean, it's not going to be that God won't give you more, right? right. Yeah, my, like, but it's not compulsory. Yeah, I had a friend of mine who, uh, uh, when his first son was born, uh, I guess I don't know what the, how old the boy was. Maybe he was a year old by this yeah. time. Yeah. He had a full head of hair. This 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 child. And he told me, he goes, oh, I'm going to give him his first haircut, right? And then he took, like, he didn't shave this kid's head, yeah. right? And then he weighed, he weighed the, 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 the hair that he cut mm -hmm. and then donated the equivalency or gave the equivalency of that into gold to the mosque or I'm mm -hmm. not sure, right? The charity, yeah. right? And then this one, of, he says, that's in my religion and so mm -hmm. on and so forth. But I, he, gave, he, he chose to, you know, we could have just did a snip step here and a snip step right. there. He goes, nah, I won't shave that kid's head bald because I want, I'm, I'm able to give. Right, exactly. Right? And, and, and it will be, that's just the part of the faith, right? I mean, mm -hmm. it's like you're giving money to your investor friend. 
Right. Right? That he's going to, like, you know, definitely uh, return that. Right? I mean, return and right. blood, right? So, so, and then the last part is... Uh, the Hajj. Hajj, yeah. Right? So once in your lifetime, if you're able to, you know, you go in the months of Hajj, where people come from all over the Have world. Have you gone? Yes. Right? You go all over the... From all over the world. You, mm -hmm. you, you're in robes and what have you, and everybody's dressed similarly. You worship God, praise God, thank God, right? But then, again, now this is, for example, like, why did you choose Makkah, right? I don't know, right? Mm -hmm. That's his choice, but it's not a random choice. I know that for sure. There's wisdom behind it, but why Makkah? I don't know, right? So sometimes we may have, if you think about it, yeah, people might have, like, you know, somebody can think about, okay, let's imagine if it was Canada versus something else, you know. So you may reach some partial wisdom, but so every choice of God has a full wisdom. Sometimes we reach, you know, a lot. Sometimes it's given in Quran. Sometimes it's not, and that's part of that trust and submission, right? I mean, because you're never going to be like equal to the knowledge of God, right? And that's where submission comes in, right? Mm -hmm. And so on and so forth. So yeah, so so that's basically what it is. So you so know, first is a confession of faith. Yes. Second is uh, prayers. Prayer and the, the five pillars. Yeah, so basically prayer essentially because you're not going to be fasting every day. No. Until Ramadan is there, right? But you can fast if you choose to. Yeah, if you choose yeah, to, yeah. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah, so on extra you can do a lot of things, just, right? Right. There are different ways of getting close to God. Mm -hmm. So what I've described is the pillars, right? right? So there are certain things that are obligatory, mm -hmm. right? And so you take care of your obligations one at a time, right? I mean, even the companions of the Prophet did not start doing everything on day one, right? Over time, they continued learning about Allah. They were more inspired, more loving Allah, they wanted to worship more because the more trust you have, yeah, I mean, I, if God is telling me to do something, it has good in it, right? And then, after you're taking care of your obligations, then everybody's different. Yeah, so you're not right? saying, like, change, change now. You're saying yeah. steps, or baby steps. Exactly. And, then, you know, you have to be able to, to, to crawl before you can walk, right? before you can run. Yeah, but, I mean, somebody having the faith, right, and mm -hmm. worshiping God alone, mm -hmm. and then working on prayer, there's much... Ha, much uh, ahead of someone who does not even believe in, in God in the true sense. I mean, he believes in it, but he has partners and this, you know, confused notion of distribution and what have you, right? So you work on that. Mm -hmm. And because, yeah, eventually we do want to have the retirement in paradise. I mean, there's this retirement here with the RSV and what have you, but the major retirement is in, in, in paradise. And, after, yeah. yeah, and along with that, like everybody's different, right? So some people like to do, you know, office work and help serve in that way. Some do what I'm doing, right? Some like to learn and teach. Some like to do their businesses and then donate, right? So everybody is different on what interests them and what their natural inclination is. Right, towards. right. And it's all different, different ways yeah. of serving God. But the, the foundational pillars are something that everybody should be, you know, uh, working towards. Yeah, you 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 broke everything down, really. I was gonna say, what's my next step? Well, next step, if what I said makes sense to you, is to verbalize your testimony of faith. And which would basically mean that, you know, you are a Muslim. And obviously, I mean, you know, in, as I said, like, you know, even the Prophet Muhammad cannot convert his uncle. And Allah says in the Quran, yeah, that's right. you do not guide his the uncle, one. His uncle, his uncle. Yeah, his yeah. own uncle. Mm -hmm. You do not guide the one that you love. Right. Allah guides the one who chooses, right? right. His choice is not random. It's based on his wisdom. Mm -hmm. So you can only convey, right? Mm -hmm. Which I've done, right? Now, if that makes sense to you and Allah gives you that courage, you verbalize it, and then, you know, from our perspective, like you're treated as Muslim, mm -hmm. what's in your heart is between you and Allah. If your conversion is sincere for His sake, as I said, you have doubled the reward, right? Mm -hmm. Don't tell this to Ayan, she might be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> <'Cause you're laughs> she actually mentioned that thing, like, can't oh. be jealous of, of somebody's, you know, position, right? Like, yeah. like, you don't know their position. Exactly. In the first place, so why should you be jealous of something right. you don't know about? Exactly, yeah. Yeah, she mentioned it. So we were, we were talking about uh, uh, magic for some reason, right? Okay, so, so we have the prayer happening in four minutes. Oh, we got to So move. if you're comfortable, you can verbalize. If you're not, that's fine too. If you're comfortable, you verbalize, you pray your first prayer today. If not, you want to wait, that's fine. I wanted to, 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 to go and... Personally, I want to see. Uh, uh, I want to, to sit down and listen to teaching, and like I want to. to yeah, pers you, you can pers do that. But my my point is that learning will never stop. By the way, right? Yeah. yeah. So learning will never stop. But if you have essentially like you, if your heart is at comfort, I wouldn't recommend to delay it for two reasons. Mm -hmm. One, it's a gift of God and it's a choice, right? Not taking the gift. I'm not saying. 
but it may have it you're risking basically right right but god may you know put your heart back to what it was may may mm-hmm. not i don't know i can't claim for god right b you know it's like this soccer game that happened yesterday right <laughs> but there's no timer so we don't know when our timer is going to be up you don't know yeah the referee you don't know when people, the referee's going to blow the whistle exactly yeah. right so i mean who knows i mean there have been people who took their shahada i mean they had sincerity of faith and they did not even pray a single prayer never fasted and they were called up but boom to paradise i see this as the very Here's the thing, I've never opened up the Quran yet and read it. And I don't know if I should do that first before I even talk. No, it's, you know? not, it's not a necessity, mm. right? Like for me, I, you, you're, yeah, you've answered all my questions and I'm like, okay. I have no rebuttal. The, the Quran was revealed, you know, over 13 years, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry, over 23 years, right? Okay. And people accepted Islam and they kept hearing Quran. Right? People mm-hmm. accept Islam be- even before knowing that there were prayers, right? People accept Islam even before knowing that alcohol was prohibited, right? Right. They just accept it. What they accepted is basically that there's one true God. There is one true God. And who is completely in charge without any partners, without any sons and daughters, and he is in charge of everything, and that Muhammad is the messenger of God, right? That's what you're test- testifying, right? And then over time, you're like, okay, so let me see what else does God want me to do. You know, where else can I That's step what up? I want to know. Where else does God want me yeah. to do? So I've given you the five pillars, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. And it's going to take you time to take care of that. Yeah. It's right? Good. Yeah. It's going to be, yeah, to like, to, to yeah. get up at whatever time to exactly. do things. And then, and, yeah. and then, you know, as your love for God grows and your facilitation grows, you keep doing oh, my it. love for God is there. I love yeah. God. So you, you, you'll be driven by that love. So anyway, as I said, it's your choice. You do have to go for prayers. So, I mean... If you want to verbalize now, you can do that. If you want to do it after, you can sit down, think as we pray. 